Okay, grab a pen or pencil or whatever tool you feel like, and let's draw. Let's see what's available to us on the other side of a little bit of practice. All we need to do to figure that out is draw for 10 minutes today. Hopefully it feels good. Hopefully it flows and we go for longer than 10 minutes, but just a bit of drawing is still drawing. It's still our daily lines. The ritual is complete. I hope it feels good. But really, I hope your practice feels a lot of ways today, not just good. I hope it feels intermittently good, exciting, uplifting, energizing, maybe a little sad, profound, mysterious, dutiful, satisfying, sometimes funny, silly, and then right back to deathly serious, easy, challenging. I really hope it goes through a, a full spectrum. The relief I hope for you is that it doesn't linger too long on any one of those. Get what I'm saying? What I hope for your practice is that it change. That it changes so that it stays exciting. That level of drama of the unknown, is what will keep you doing this forever. R really forever. I mean, you're repeating one of the oldest rites of humanity. In the big picture, you're truly pushing it forth towards forever from forever. That's one of the most interesting feelings I hope your practice goes through. I hope at some point your practice feels old. It doesn't need to last a long time, that feeling, but just the feeling of lineage, of the archaic, of a connection to the oldest ways of the artist is medicinal. It's rejuvenating, makes the practice feel grounded, integrated, meaningful, and purposeful. It wipes away the nihilism, depression, and desperation that artists are conditioned to slide into very easily in our culture. When that feeling comes upon you, it can strike like a lightning bolt. It's a ceremonial day for the practice and for the artist. Yes, for the artist, for the person who has taken on the little role of artist. Because when the practice feels old and you hold in your mind that the practice is you, then you feel old, connected to the nature of things. It's a profound reset that delivers a gift of energy to get you through months of work. As such, it's the most practical of events for any artist. What artist would deny an experience that will provide energy for months of artistic output? Maybe that sounds a little fanciful or puffed up to some of you. Take my word for it. That experience is as real as it gets on this path. And if you can't take my word for it, if you don't trust me, you can ask around about it. I don't think you'll have to go far before that question is greeted with a smile. So if it's very concrete and very real, is there some way to instigate this experience? Well, I don't really think so. 
in the same way that you can't really instigate the other feelings your practice can go through. You don't really choose them. Just sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's energizing, and sometimes it's not. It's also tough for this one because if you seek it, you can't find it. Seeking is concerned with the future. It creates expectations. It puts up images that are then strived for. But this experience is colored by being completely at peace with the current situation, built as it is on a humbling and beautiful past of creation. You just feel like the natural tip of a spear hurled through time. The only way to point towards it is to point at your practice, at you, at your art. You need to take a journey inward and see what your art is trying to tell you. Trust in it in a way you haven't trusted before. Be radical about it. Investigate, honestly what you are giving your practice permission to contain and why you are choosing to invent those boundaries for it. That is, for yourself. Start with those and see where they point you. And then go where they lead. It will take some courage. It will point you to things you cannot expect. And all of this will seem very small from the outside. Others won't understand the fear and resistance to these new doors you're opening for yourself, the new pathways that were previously closed off. They'll wonder why you weren't doing those things already. It will make you seem kind of silly to them. And your art might not necessarily indicate that you're in some radical space for yourself. People just be like, oh, this is actually pretty in line with you. But to you, on the inside, these paths will seem dark and immense, unlike you, completely outside of your capacity. And that's a solid sign that it's your truly personal journey. Because it's unable to be understood completely by another. Somewhere in that wood is the integrated practice. The version of what you're doing that speaks to the things you don't know about yourself. That reveals the things you've long hidden. The things about yourself you won't face. The things about yourself that you forgot you forgot. If you want to find out what you forgot, and trust me, it's worth finding out if interesting experiences hold any weight to you. All you have to do is keep drawing and doing what you can to remember, as often as you can, what a pleasure it is. Just eyes open, you lucky witness. And for this day, it seems you have done just that. So thank you for drawing with me. You're keeping me drawing, of course. So your practice and my practice are deeply connected. And I sure as hell like drawing. So let's draw again soon. I wish you luck today with all of your endeavors, drawing or otherwise.